Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild. Today we are going to be taking a look at all the brand new drink times for all of the animals here on Silver Ridge Peaks. Now, in one of my previous videos, I did ask you guys what you would like to see me cover on the SRP rework. And uh, there was a lot of different comments about a lot of different things that you guys want to see me cover. So, I figured it might be best just to do it in multiple videos, each of them tackling a specific thing. Today, we are going to be looking at all of the drink zone times. And then, most likely, if you guys want me to, I will do some individual species guides as well. Uh, covering all of the brand new zones for stuff like elk, uh, mountain goats, and things like that. And uh, the mountain goats are also something I wanted to cover a little bit today because there was a very interesting change to them and I'm not exactly sure how well it's going to be received but it's going to make mountain goat hunting very different and we'll get into that later but first of all let's cover the first animal that drinks here on Silver Ridge Peaks which is the Rocky Mountain Elk from 4.30 to 8.30. With the Rocky Mountain Elk now having a four hour drink time window, it makes hunting them a lot more enjoyable than it was previously as we don't have to rush our drink zone hopping because normally with the old time we would have maybe 30 minutes to an hour to hunt the Rocky Mountain Elk and that was if they were even at their zones. There was times where they wouldn't get to their zone until the very end of their drink time and Obviously, that was a major problem, but now with how they have them set up, it's actually quite enjoyable to hunt the Rocky Mountain Elk. Not only is their drink time four hours, but they're also spread into a lot more areas that are just in general easier to hunt and a lot more fun to hunt. Stuff like this right here at these uh, Twin Lakes near Dinosaur Hill. You can now get Rocky Mountain Elk at these and they're very, very plentiful. The same with most of the lakes in the northern parts of the map and even spread throughout the southern, middle, left, right. Like, they're all over. And we're definitely going to do a guide on the elk at some point, but today's video is more of just showing you guys the different drink zone times since a lot of you have been asking and also kind of just giving a, you a general idea of the areas that you can go to find them. But it certainly is nice to see so many bull elk coming down to one single zone. Not only is this a massive improvement to what we saw previously, but I think it's something that a lot of people will absolutely love. There's definitely been some changes that were not taken the best, but this is one of the most positive things that they have done for Silver Ridge Peaks was greatly improving the Rocky Mountain elk hunting by putting them in better locations and increasing their drink time to four hours. You know, I really feel like Silver Ridge Peaks is going to be one of those maps where nobody will ever see this map the same. It will never be the same that it was before the update because there was just so many things changed uh, for the good and also some things not so for the good that we will get into a little bit later. But I think overall, this is one of the most drastic changes we've seen to a map out of pretty much every update that we've seen reworking maps previously. There has just been so many changes and the elk are just the beginning of it. Let's go ahead and move on to the next species that got some major changes. So after you finish hunting the Rocky Mountain Elk, the next thing that you will be able to find drinking in their zones is the Plains Bison. Now from what I've been able to gather, they still are primarily in the bottom right corner of the map and they're in a lot of the places that they used to be. But it does seem that their time has been changed to 8.30 which is a very interesting change. However, I do think that it probably will work out very well as most animals only have, or not most animals, but most times only have one animal drinking at that specific time. It seems like a lot of them flow from one drink zone to the other, like we go straight from elk to plains bison with uh, no leeway in between those two times. So it seems like there will always be something drinking and it's always going to be something different dependent on the time of the day. And it also seems like in most cases there will only be one specific animal drinking at any given hour. From what I've seen, the only animals that drink at pretty much the exact same time are the bears and mountain lions and we will get into those a little bit later in the video, but we still have quite a few other animals to get through first, but, but the plains bison do seem to be pretty similar to what they were previously when it comes to the locations you can find them. However, with their new time being 8.30 to 12.30, I do think that honestly is a better drink time for them. Well, that's not what I thought I'd be seeing today. I think that that might be a diamond pronghorn. That just might be a level 4 diamond. And if it is, that'd be pretty cool. So I think we need to attempt to take it with the Glock. I mean, we pretty much have to. I still have yet to get a diamond with this thing. And this was the last thing I expected to be finding today. We're just looking for zones to show off for the video so that you guys can see all of the new times for everything. And of course, we end up spotting a level 4 diamond potential pronghorn 
All right, so we are about 60 meters away from this guy now. He's not in the most favorable position, but now he actually is. That should be a good hit, and it definitely is. That'll be, hopefully, our first diamond with the Glock. That guy looked like it does have the diamond horns, so provided everything went right there, hopefully this will be our first ever diamond with the Glock at really the most unsuspecting time when we're not even after Pronghorn right now. We're just looking for Plains Bison for the video. And of course, we end up finding ourselves a diamond potential pronghorn. But you know, can't complain. Regardless, it's really cool. And hopefully, it'll end up making it. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. I think this might be it. Will this be our first ever Glock Diamond? It will at 98.75, our very first diamond with the Glock at literally the most random time. That is super awesome. Very happy that we managed to make our first ever diamond with the Glock. A pronghorn as they are one of, I believe, the most underrated species in the game. They're very nicely modeled. They look absolutely beautiful. And they have some very cool different horn variations on the diamonds. Yet, they seem to go unloved by a lot of people. However, this guy is a gorgeous specimen of a pronghorn. A beautiful diamond and our very first diamond with the Glock. Now, let's continue on with the video since we're not really focused on diamonds today, we're focused on drink times. Now, before we get into this next drink time, I wanted to real quickly just kind of, I, I guess, better explain the range where I've been seeing Plains Bison after the update. They're still primarily in this lower corner of the map along the uh, Lake Prospect and I guess the entire Saguache Plains. This area seems to still be where the bison are. I haven't seen them anywhere out of that area, at least not yet. It's hard to say if there are more areas where they can be, but as of now, I've just been seeing them down here, which is pretty in line with what they were pre-update. But the next animal we're going to look at is the bighorn sheep. Their brand new drink time is from 12 to 16 or 12.30 to 16.30, depending on which zone you end up finding. Every species has an early zone and a late zone. I tend to always give the late zone as the drink time for an animal, just so you know that all of them are going to be there whenever you go looking for the time. So for the sake of that, we will say bighorn drink time is 12.30 to 16.30, as that is when all herds should be drinking but we do have some of them down here and you know i was kind of surprised to see them drinking at this time i expected them to be a little bit earlier in the morning but it's definitely worked out pretty well for the most part now mountain lions are still quite the problem as they always were but they seem to be feeding near these lakes even more than ever before and because of that a lot of the bighorn do end up spooking off and again, with the bighorn, it really does seem like a lot of them are in very similar locations to where they were previously. I've been finding them at two fawns. I've found them kind of along this left side at uh, these two lakes, but overall, I haven't really hunted the bighorn a ton. Again, this video is not to show off all the locations. It's to show off the zone times. And again, if you guys want to see me do a specific guide for any of these species, let me know in the comments what species you would like to see a guide for. I know Rocky Elk is probably going to be a pretty popular one, but let me know if there's any others that you guys want to see me do as well. Now, as we move on to the mule deer, we once again see another three hour drink time with them drinking from 15 to 18. And with the mule deer, I really haven't searched a lot of the map to figure out where they're located, but it seems like at this lake you can find them. And then I've also been finding them up near Dinosaur Hill and the little twin lakes here and up in the north where we always saw them and a few of them down along the left. However, once again, with the mule deer, I have not had enough time to thoroughly search the entire area, but we do know for a fact that they drink from 15 to 18 and still are in a lot of the locations you could find them before, plus a few new ones. Once again, we will, of course, do a guide on some of the species that you guys want to learn more about, so if you want to see more on the mule deer, be sure to let me know, because uh, whichever ones I see you guys request the most are the ones that we will do full guides for. But uh, once again, this video is just to kind of show you guys the times that they are drinking at and some general locations that you can search for them while I'm trying to uh, decide what we're going to do guides on. This mule deer drink time is also once again in line with the mule deer drink time from the other maps, which is really nice. It's good to see that they are kind of standardizing it across all of the maps with most animals drink zones now. They seem to drink at the same time across all maps for the most part and... That, 
Oh wait, that actually might be an albino. I mean, it's most likely just a gray, but that very well could be an albino. And this brings me to one of the biggest issues with the drink time for mule deer. Though I do like the new time, once again, the mountain lions are the main issue here. They drink in very, or not drink, but they feed and rest in very weird locations. Super close to all of the other animals. And so things are constantly getting spooked off. And I think really that is the biggest problem with the SRP rework is the fact that these mountain lions are just so plentiful and they're so close to everything else. Now, here's where we start getting into some of the more interesting drink time changes that I'm not 100% sure how everybody is going to feel about them and I personally am not the biggest fan of this first one or really any of the ones that come after this because as most of you probably know nighttime hunting is really not fun for most of us and the only time I ever enjoyed it was when I was hunting red deer on Tiawaroa back when they used to have a nighttime drink time and even now that they changed it to daytime it's better so I think regardless nighttime hunting for most people just is not enjoyable and when you put something like pronghorn with a drink zone from 18 to 21, I got a feeling that this is going to unfortunately decrease the amount of people that hunt pronghorn in their drink times. Though, from what I have seen, it seems like a lot of pronghorn do feed pretty close to water, so that is going to be one alternative to hunting them in their drink zones now, and honestly, I do think it's still not bad since their feed zones are in so accessible of locations. Like if you're hunting around in this area down here, you can actually find quite a few of them feeding along the water here. But it's just unfortunate that they continue to put drink times at nighttime. And for the pronghorn, I don't really see how it makes too much sense. Though I suppose they had a reason for doing it regardless. It's just unfortunately not something that makes them very appealing to hunt for me. And again, pronghorn are in relatively the same areas. I've pretty much just seen them down in the uh, Saguache Plains. It seems like they did keep them to their old home range, but just gave them a new drink time, and there could be a few locations that they've moved them to that I haven't seen, but every pronghorn I've come across has been at these lakes right here that they've always been at, so it seems like they didn't move them around too much. However, they definitely gave them a very interesting drink time. And now we take a look at what is probably the most controversial change of this entire rework and that's the fact that not only do bears drink at 20 which is the time that they drink on every other map that in itself is not necessarily a bad thing but it's the mountain lion drink time that really makes this an issue so black bears start drinking at around 20 and I believe they go clear to zero the problem is mountain lions start drinking at 21 and they drink at pretty much the same locations that the bears do so in many scenarios you will have most of your bears get spooked off by mountain lions which if you're doing a great one grind that's a major problem and because of this I got a feeling that Silver Ridge Peaks is no longer going to be the greatest map for grinding black bear I feel a lot of people are gonna start grinding maps like Leighton Lakes and Mississippi Acres instead and I feel like even myself being a massive fan of Silver Ridge Peaks, I'm probably going to grind a map like Mississippi for Black Bear instead, or possibly Leighton, as I think Leighton would have the least chances of bears being spooked off. So, it really feels like either they're attempting to make it more difficult to get great ones, which I guess I wouldn't be too opposed to that, as they have gotten a little bit easier over time the more people have learned about how to grind very efficiently and quickly and just being able to make the most out of our time and uh, really getting insane numbers on most of these great one grinds I can kind of see why they would want to make them a little bit more difficult to get however I'm not even sure if that really is their intention it could just be that it was an oversight and they didn't think the mountain lines would be an issue but it has become a pretty big problem and I'm really hoping that they will rethink it and kind of change the times around a bit. Maybe make it so the mountain lions drink right after the bears. I feel like that would make the most sense, but I guess we'll have to see what they do. And unfortunately, until they decide to either tweak things or at least adjust the locations where the mountain lions are found, this is going to be a pretty common sight where we will see a bear getting spooked off by one of them. And that's one of the main reasons why I will most likely be going to a different map for the bear grind. 
Though, I'll probably still give it a try here and see how badly it affects it. I couldn't imagine it being very easy considering mountain lions and bears share a decent amount of lakes. And if this is going to be happening every time I go to certain lakes, it's just going to make it more difficult to get them down. And that is the final drink zone to look at for this video. And you may be wondering, what about the turkeys? What about the mountain goats? Well, that brings us to this next part of the video. One of the most drastic changes of this entire SRP rework is the fact that mountain goats no longer drink and we're going to go check them out in a feed zone now because as of now, all they have is feed zones and resting zones. They have completely taken out all drink zones for them and it's going to make hunting mountain goats very different than it was before. Well, there we go. We finally got a call from some mountain goats and you guys may be surprised where they are. They are over here in Prosperity Pass. This is not where we were expecting to see mountain goats and we definitely weren't expecting them to not have a drink time, but uh, this location right here was uh, found by my brother, so figured we would go check it out. And yeah, this is exactly where we've got some of them, though they are a bit away from where he was finding them. It's still very interesting to see if they've moved them this much. But, you know, I suppose we should probably go ahead and take this one down just so we can get our first mountain goat kill of the new update. And uh, let's wait till it actually turns for us. And then we can get a shot into it. It's very interesting to see them move the mountain goats clear over here to the left side of the map in the mountains. I was thinking that they would keep them kind of in the middle and I, for all I know, they could still have some zones in this middle area. I haven't got a chance to really look for them, so... I mean, if you guys want to see me do a video on the mountain goats just attempting to find new locations for them, let me know because I do think that would be very interesting and I'd be very curious to know where they've moved all of their locations because they're definitely not in the same areas that they used to be. They've definitely moved them around a decent bit. But here is this mountain goat right here. Let's go ahead and grab it. This is a light gray mountain goat, 87.55. That one is a nice looking gold and our very first mountain goat kill out of their new feed zone. So pretty cool but let me know what you guys thought of this video we just went through all of the drink times of all of the species as well as talking about the mountain goats and uh, some of the issues with mountain lions on the new update for srp so let me know what you guys thought of this video let me know what guides you would like me to make on the new drink times for the species and their new locations because i'm definitely going to do a couple guides i think for sure we'll do rocky elk and then hopefully we can get a decent amount of people wanting a different one as well and then we'll make a second guide but it's all going to be based off of what you guys would prefer to see because uh, I don't want to spend time making a guide if it's not something you all are interested in so be sure to let me know in the comments what guides we should focus on and until next time thank you all for watching if you enjoyed be sure to subscribe click that like button and ring that notification bell so that you guys will never miss the next episode with that being said thank you all for watching and I will see you all in the next one Peace.